All right, all right. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah Ba'ashim, Waha Rekai Kodash, and double honors be to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Mr. Brother Yahweh Da, coming at you with another lesson to edify and comfort the Lord's elect. So, Lord willing, that this video is edifying and comfort to your brothers, as well as your few sisters that listen and learning. The year 2023, the hopeful year that all prophecy be fulfilled. And that's right, we pray and hope that all prophecies come to pass. All right, especially in these times. All right, especially in these times. And real quick, you know, just meditating on how, you know, um, we're at these end times. All right, we're at these end times. And for us brothers, us believers, to be unmovable, all right, when Esau come in as a flood, all right, when he come down having great wrath, and for us brothers to be unmovable, that our house have to be built on the rock. Our foundations have to be built on the rock. Which is Yahweh Shah. Alright. That's how we're gonna overcome. Alright, by our foundations. Alright, our trust is built on in Yahweh Shah. Alright, so you know I just want to go into a quick lesson on that. You know, cause that time is coming. You know, persecution, you know, time of Jacob's trouble, all that is beginning to happen. Alright? It's only gonna increase. And we have to stay strong in the faith and trust in Yahweh Shah no matter what. All right, so this is Matthew 7 and verse 24, and it reads, Therefore, whosoever hear these saying of mine and do them, I will like unto him, unto a unto him, I will like him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. You see that? Who has built his house upon a rock. And we know that that rock is Yahweh Shah. He's that chief cornerstone. All right. He's that he's our rock, matter of fact. Let me grab that. He's our rock. And you know, he's our hope and, and salvation. Just bear with me. This is uh Psalms 18 and verse 2. The Lord is my rock and my fortress, and my deliverer, my power, my strength, in whom I trust. My buckler and the horn of my salvation in my high tower. That's right. The Lord is our rock. All right. Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is our rock, man. All right. This is Psalm 62 and verse 7. And the most high is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my, of my strength and the refuge is in my power. That's right. Is in the most high. All right. So, you know, just going into how the most high is our rock. You know, Yahweh Shah is our chief, he's the chief cornerstone. Let me grab that. I'm in transit, so you know, just bear with me, Akim. He's the chief cornerstone, that's right. Uh, let me grab that. Ephesians 2 and verse 20. And our matter of fact, let me read up a little bit. Verse uh 19. It says, Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but but fellow citizens with the saints, and it of the household of the most high, talking about the Israelite foreigners. All right. Talking about Jake being in the Gentile state of mind. All right. The Gentiles. And it says, and are built upon the foundations of the apostles and the prophets. Yahweh Shah Hamashiach himself being the chief cornerstone. You see that? He's the chief cornerstone in whom all the building filled the frame together, together growth unto the and holy temple in the Lord. In whom ye also are built together for the inhabitations of the Most High through the Spirit. All right. So, you know, we'll get more clarification of who the rock. All right, it's Yahweh Shah. He's that chief cornerstone. All right, and our foundation have to be built and rooted in Him. So back in Matthew the seventh chapter, and the twenty-first verse, twenty-fourth verse, therefore, whosoever hear these sayings of mine and do them, I will like him unto a wise man, which built his house upon sand. No other way around it. All right, no other way that your foundation. 
um, has to be built on a rock. You know, you can't have your house built on any other thing, man, but rock, but the rock, man, as it going to go into. Because if your house is built on any other foundation and when this flood come, when Esau coming as a flood, all right, guess what, man? Your, 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 your foundation, your faith is going to be washed away. You're going to be taken away, man. And the rain, the scent, and the flood came, and the wind blew, and beat up upon the house. It fell not. You see that? So when all these things come upon you, knowing that your faith, all right, your trust is in your house, all right, you're not going to fail. Your, your house is not going to be overthrown. It fell not, for it was founded upon a rock, solid, man. Your house, hey, he... You can't get no more solid than trusting in Yahweh Shah. And everyone that hear these sayings of mine and do them not shall be like unto a foolish man which built his house upon sand. That's right. You know, if you see, you know, uh, uh, you know, I remember growing up building sand castles at the beach, you know, just to watch, just to watch the waves tear down. And that's how majority of the, of uh, our people whose faith is not trusted in Yahweh Shah, whose faith is on point, uh, uh, is on the sand, you know, is any other doctrine, other other beliefs. That's how their house is going to be built. Uh, is going to be like an unto, built upon sand. It says, and when the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and the beat upon the house, it fell. See that? It's going to fall, man. All right, because why? You don't have the true power on your side fighting for you. So your house is going to fall. And it says, and fell. And great was the fall of it, man. You see that? So great was the fall of it. So guess what, brothers? Our foundation, our hope, have to be upon that rock, which is Yahweh Shah. All right? Because that flood is coming. When the enemy coming in as a flood. All right, let me grab Let me end off with that. That Isaiah... I believe. Let me see. Yep. This is Isaiah 59 and verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west, the western hemisphere. All right. And his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. That's right, man. So when Esau come in as a flood, all right, those who house uh, that's built upon a rock. And the Lord's going to have it where you're going to be protected. You know, you're going to be delivered out of these times that's coming. It says, and the Redeemer shall come to Zion and to them that turn from transgression in Jacob. And it says, said the Lord. That's right, man. So, yeah, man, we have to have our, our, our faith, all right, our spirit built on that rock, that foundation, all right? So, you know, I can just meditate on that. You know, that time is coming. So we got to be stronger, get stronger in the faith and believe more so than ever. All right. So we can be well protected and see the downfall of this kingdom, see the fall of our enemies. So with that, I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah Ba'ashim, Waha, Rekak Wadash, double honors to the apostles, that was a great millstone. Keep scribing, brothers, keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom, Baba Ba'ashim.